hello you guys what is going on welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is dennis and in this video i'm going to show you how to design a merry christmas e flyer so i won't forget to say merry christmas and i know very well that you will be making a design to congratulate your client or congratulate a loved one telling them merry christmas so this video will be of great help to you to show you how to go through the design and make it look professional so without any further ado let's get into the video subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video so these are the resources i'll be using for this design and i'll be combining all this stuff to make the merry christmas e flyer so without wasting much time i will start by setting my size i will convert this to inches and at the same time i will change here to five by five inches since it's going to be an e flyer it should be in an even shape like this then the next thing i'm going to do is to double click here to get this shape and right click here to take out the outline and give it red color i remember we are working with rgb colors since our design will be posted online and not for print so i'm going to set this to rgb red you can see how it looks like it looks very nice okay next up i'm going to fill this background with black so i'm going to click on interactive fill tool and fill it this way with black you click on black rgb black and click on elliptical fountain fill so it centralized this like this but i don't want the black to be at the center i want the red to be at the center and the black outside okay then i'm going to click on reverse fill so it reverses it like this so this is exactly what i sorry this is exactly what i actually want so i'm going to allow it to be like this it looks very cool like this next thing i'm going to do is to click on this christmas tree and power clip inside so i'm going to right click on the christmas tree and click on power clip inside then click on this and it looks very cool press alternate on your keyboard and click on the christmas tree so you select the christmas tree inside the power clip click on transparency tool and click on match mode and click on overlay so it looks this way very nice you can adjust the christmas tree like this actually i want to see this particular part of the christmas tree which has this flower like this i'm going to set it to this direction it looks very nice okay and i'm going to reduce the christmas tree again and right click before i leave so i can duplicate the christmas tree remember now i have two christmas tree because i've been able to reduce the first one which was large and make it small so i'm going to take the small one to this other part of the design like this so i get this look on the background okay but i don't want the large one to be too visible like this so i'm going to select the large one and click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency so it fades into the background like this while the small one still remain the way it is okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to power clip this ball like this right click on the ball click on power clip inside and click on the shape then the ball goes into the shape and press alternate on your keyboard and select again to edit the power clip you can reduce it that way and bring it to this direction keep it here click and drag duplicate remember when you want to duplicate you right click on your mouse before you leave let me do it again click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate then reduce this one this way this looks very nice and this looks very cool okay press ctrl j to group both of them and press ctrl page down to send it to the back now let me tell you the reason why i had to do ctrl page down you see after i sent it to the back this christmas tree blend into the christmas ball and it gives this particular uh it gives this particular effect here which looks very nice but i don't want it to go into the christmas tree so well so i'm going to bring it to this other side and drag it out a little and that is what i got i like this it looks very nice and cool and the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my christmas tree again right click on this christmas tree click on power clip inside and click on the shape so you get this effect like this then you press alternate on your keyboard and select the christmas tree and reduce it this way but one thing i observe about this christmas tree is that it looks too greenish and it does not blend with my background at all so i'm going to 
do a little color grading to blend with my background i'm going to click on effect adjust and click on tone curve first then you can adjust the tone like this all right this looks cool it begins to blend with the background little by little then i'm going to click on effect again adjust and click on color balance then you can now set your colors though i've already set these colors like this but i'll return everything to normal and set again so i'm going to take this to red because i want my christmas tree to be reddish and give it a little yellow like this so it blends with the background and take this to magenta a little so this looks very cool this is the setting 44 percent of red and minus six percent that is magenta and minus six that is yellow so this is cool this way all right and the design begins to pop out like what you are seeing then the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the father christmas right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and click on the shape so it comes to this design like this press alternate on your keyboard and click on the picture and bring it to this direction this looks very cool you can reduce it a little and leave it like this but still the picture does not blend with the background as well so i'm going to click on effect adjust tone curve to make it deep a little so it blends with the background you can adjust this like this okay i feel that is okay and that it's very perfect so you can bring it down a little sorry press alternate and click on the picture and bring it down a little and this looks very cool and nice and next thing i'm going to do is to create a shape like this click on your rectangle tool and click and drag here click on shape tool and select remember this shape has four nodes but i need to create a curve down here only so i'm going to click here press shift and click this other node you can see these other two nodes up here are white while the ones i select are black so you can click and drag it like this to get this curve it looks very nice give it a white color and right click here to take off the outline press shift on your keyboard click on the shift and press c to centralize and this looks very nice then you can bring in your brand logo to that shape like this Press Ctrl page job to bring it to the top. Then you can place your brand logo there. Press Shift and press C to centralize. So this is very nice like this. You can reduce this a little because it looks too big. Okay. This is nice. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to type Merry Christmas. Okay. So this is it and i'm going to change my typeface to fountain free fountain free that's the typeface i'll be using and click here and click center to centralize this because i want to use center alignment using your shape tool you can adjust the line spacing like this and take it very close to mary so it looks very nice and organized okay open it up like this and give it white then you can centralize this to your design and make it look cool like this okay this position looks very nice this position looks very cool all right then click on drop shadow to and adjust the shadows like this you can give it this shadow and make it look nice okay fine and fine so this is how it looks like actually then i'm going to type in from us all uh click on text change case to upper case like this and i'll give it futura that's the typeface i'll be using uh, futura medium i love using futura medium because it looks a little bit bold to so make it bold a little and reduce it here place it here like this and give it white color this looks very nice and looks very cool okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to create this shape here down here using your rectangle tool you can create this shape like this and give it white and right click it to pick up the outline then press ctrl q on your keyboard to curve the shape 
click on your shape tool and click on this particular node and press shift on your keyboard while doing this so it remains on a straight line like this and bring it to this edge then it looks very nice to give this particular effect here then i'm going to bring in all these icons and reduce it into this line press ctrl page up to send it to the top and place it here then you can now put your details here so i'll type this delight and graphics okay so this is my brand name i'll be using so i'm going to reduce it here give it this typeface feature and reduce it again and place it here it looks very nice this way so this is the look of the design but i still have to add a little effect to this design to make it look very perfect click on your ellipse tool here and create a small shape like this press control on your keyboard while creating this shape so the shape will be even okay then you leave it there and give it white right click here to take off the outline convert this shape to bitmap like this you can use grayscale since it's only white then you click on effect and click on blur and click on gaussian blur like this it looks very nice you can adjust the uh, radius a little and that looks perfect okay so i want to use this to make it look like uh like snow so i'm going to adjust the two and feel this looks perfect then i'm going to make duplicates of this and make this smaller than the first one like this all i'm going to do now is to duplicate all these to different areas of the design to make it like snow falling down and I'll adjust the bigger ones and the smaller ones like this click and drag and right click before you leave click and drag and right click before you leave you can continue doing this to you have lots of them like this click and drag and right click before you leave you continue doing them you can even bring it down here continue doing them like that click on the smaller ones and also duplicate them like this and this looks very nice continue doing them like that click and drag right click before you leave you can always take the smaller ones upwards because the snow is actually falling from small gradient to the large gradient so the smaller ones should be more up here than the bigger ones the bigger ones should be down here you can put it everywhere like this it looks very nice so i feel this is okay and i think this should be the end of this design so i'm going to click on my zoom tool click here and zoom it out like this so you see how it looks like so this is how the design looks like and i made this design with corel draw 2020 so if you're using any other version of corel draw you've got no problem you just need to know the tools i use and that is why i call out the names of all the tools i use so you won't get lost when designing yours and i'll link up all the resources i use for this design down in the description as well as the raw file so you can just edit and take off the logo take off my details and put yours and upload it to your clients telling them merry christmas thank you so much for watching this video merry christmas once again i'll see you in the next one